Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to play through all seven chords of the E flat Ionian mode so that when you play or even write a song in E flat Ionian, you already know where to find these chords on the fretboard. And in the process, you're also gonna see how these chords are formed, and not only that, why they sound so good. Okay, so to start, these seven chords are all derived from the E flat Ionian mode or the E flat major scale, which sounds and looks like this. The notes in this pattern are E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, and E flat. So starting on the fifth string sixth fret and moving up to the third string eighth fret, the pattern sounds like this. And we can refer to it using scale degree numbers as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, rising up the fretboard, these same seven notes appear in different positions and octaves, although it's the same notes repeated. That is, the same subset of notes we pick out from the chromatic scale, which includes every possible note in music. The E-flat Ionian mode is just seven of these notes repeated up and down the fretboard. And when we play these notes in sequence, they sound nice in any octave, whether we play it down low or up high. Now to create chords from this pattern, all we have to do is combine every other note in groups of three, starting on each respective scale degree, to form seven distinct harmonies. To illustrate how this works, here's a table that shows two octaves of the E-flat Ionian mode or the E-flat major scale along the top, and below that are the seven chords that stem from this pattern, where each one starts on a different scale degree and combines every other note to form its own harmony. The one chord, shown by a Roman numeral here, starts on scale degree one, the two chord, shown by a Roman numeral two, begins on scale degree two, and so on. And if you look closely, in each chord, the first and last notes are separated by the interval of a fifth, which is why these notes sound and look related, why they're so harmonious together, because of their close connection in the circle of fifths. So E flat and B flat are separated by a fifth, F and C are separated by a fifth, G and D are separated by a fifth, etc. And then the middle note in each chord is what gives it an especially distinct sound. In this first chord, E flat major, G is two whole steps or a major third above E flat. So these three notes, E flat, G, and B flat, form what's called a major chord represented by this capital Roman numeral one, where the capital signifies that it's major. In the second chord, F minor, A flat is a minor third above F. So together, these three notes, F, a flat and C form what's called a minor chord represented by the lowercase Roman numeral two, where the lowercase means that it's minor. And then all of the other chords are either major or minor, except for this seventh chord, which includes a minor third and a flatted fifth. These two minor third intervals combine to form what's called a diminished chord, which has a weaker or diminished sound that we signify by writing a little O next to the Roman numeral seven here. So this is how these seven chords are constructed by combining every other note of the E-flat Ionian mode. And now that we've looked at the theory of how to build these chords and how they're labeled using Roman numerals, let's look at how to actually play them on the guitar fretboard. Here we have the E-flat Ionian mode highlighted on the guitar, and to the right is the same note pattern in a circular formation with scale degrees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, we just build each chord by starting on each separate scale degree and then combining every other note. E flat major, or the major one chord, is made from notes E flat, G, and B flat. So if we combine those notes, we can play a bar chord here, or we can rise up the fretboard and find notes E flat, G, and B flat to play a bar chord on the sixth fret there. Or we could rise even higher and go to E flat, G, and B flat, way up here. And we can find other positions of the E flat major chord on the fretboard as well. Then we go to F minor, the minor two chord, which is formed from notes F, A flat, and C. So we've got F, A flat, and C. So combining those into a bar chord on the first fret sounds nice. Or we could go a little higher and go to F, A flat, and C. So those notes form an F minor chord here. And for good measure, we can play F, A flat, and C as a bar chord up here. Then we have G minor, the minor three chord in this mode, which combines notes 
G, B flat, and D. So we've got a G minor chord here. You could also play G, B flat, and D to play a G minor chord here. And also up here we could play G, B flat, and D to play a G minor chord up here. And then we have A flat major, the major four chord, which is made from notes A flat, C, and E flat. So we've got A flat, C, and E flat. And we can play the chord here. Or we could rise higher and play A flat, C, E flat to play an A flat major chord on the fourth fret as a bar chord there. We could also play A flat, C, and E flat up here, and then also just playing it even higher, A flat major way up here. Then there's the B flat major chord, or the major five in this mode, which is made from notes B flat, where's our B flat? B flat, D and F, so a bar chord, first fret, let's play it like that. And then we have B flat, D and F, so we could play a chord like that. Higher up, we could play B flat, D, and F as a bar chord on the sixth fret here. And then we could play it in other positions as well. Then we have C minor, the minor six, which is built from notes C, E flat, and G. So we've got C, E flat, and G, this bar chord. And we could also play it as C, E flat, and G a bar chord up here, and again in other positions up the fretboard. Then we have D diminished, or the diminished seven chord in the E flat Ionian mode, which is a combination of D, F, and A flat. So that's kind of a darker, more dissonant sound. And we could also play D, F, and A flat. So the D diminished chord up here as well. So by combining every other note of the E-flat Ionian mode, seven distinct harmonies are formed that all sound good together because they stem from the same source pattern. And again, the E-flat Ionian mode itself sounds like this, with each note played in sequence. And when we play the seven chords in order, major one, minor two, minor three, etc., it basically sounds like the same pattern, but fleshed out. Together, these chords give us a complete set of harmonies we can use to compose different chord progressions in E-flat Ionian. By moving back and forth between chords in different patterns and arrangements, we can come up with some awesome sounds. For example, we might start at E-flat major, the major one, then move to the major four chord, A-flat major, then pass through E-flat major, the major five, before returning to E-flat major once again. or we could move through any of the other chord progressions in this mode to create a lot of other cool patterns, like the popular major one, major five, minor six, major four progression. Etc. So using these seven chords with our painter's palette of sounds, as it were, we have like a lot of options with just seven chords and with all of the different positions and inversions up and down the fretboard you can actually create a lot of cool sounds now obviously it takes some practice to move your fingers back and forth between all of these chords up and down the fretboard but once you understand and can really see the logic you can get a feel for it pretty quickly because it's all just patterns now to help you really understand all of these chords i'm going to show a couple of diagrams next that you can use to pause the video take a screenshot of each and then refer to them at your own pace as you practice playing these patterns on the fretboard. This first again shows the seven chords of the E-flat Ionian mode in a table format, which illustrates how each harmony is derived by combining every other note of the major scale. And then below that is the fretboard with all of the possible positions for playing the E-flat major chord or the major one in this mode. And then these diagrams show the note patterns and finger positions for F minor, the minor two, G minor, the minor three, and A flat major, the major four chord in the E flat Ionian mode. 
And then these diagrams include B flat major, the major five, C minor, the minor six, and D diminished or the diminished seven chord in this mode. And then this diagram shows all of the same chords, but in three different ways. At the top in a circular formation showing how all of these patterns form a ring of harmonies. And then in the middle as they're laid out in different positions on the fretboard, and then at the bottom in chord diagrams that are more traditional with the numbers representing the fingers used to press each note. And really these are just a few of the finger positions that are possible to play each chord. So these are the chords of E flat Ionian. Thank you for watching. Let YouTube know if you think this is a good one. Join the conversation below and that is it. I'll see you in the next video.